The average weight of high school boys is 145 pounds. Of the state tournaments, Kentucky's had 60 state tournaments as of this filming. The 145-pound weight class has been contested 57 times. 144 pounds have been contested twice, and 142 pounds has contested once. So all 60 state tournaments have had about a three-pound gap between 142 and 145 contested. I think it's safe to say that the 145-pound weight class has the most representation in the history of the state tournament. There are some phenomenal names at the 145-pound weight class. Let's go over them real quick. 2018, most outstanding wrestler, Trent Johnson from John Harden. Rest in peace to Bryce Schaefer, Union County, four-time state champion. Two-time state champion from Johnson Central, Jordan Blanton. Grant Ullman from Trinity, four-time state champion and two-time correction. Four-time state champion and 2008 most outstanding from Woodford County, Harrison Courtney. Four-time state champion, two-time most outstanding wrestler from St. Xavier, Isaac Knable. Four-time state champion, 1997 most outstanding, Joe Carr Jr. Three-time state champion, 1997, 1996, most uh, 145-pound, Ian Horn. Two-time state champion from Hopkinsville, Jared Trice. Two-time state champion and 1984 most outstanding wrestler, Troy Cole from Connor. Four-time state champion, 1981 most outstanding wrestler from Connor, Robbie Clarkston. The 145-pound weight class is absolutely stacked. But I think our guest here today can make a claim to be the best. Sir, if you would, tell us who you are. Jerry Smerton. And of course, you're a two-time state champion from Lawrence County High School. And I know a lot of people are shaking their heads at what I just said about you possibly being the best 145-pound <laughs> state champion in Kentucky history. But I think I'm going to stand, stand pretty firm on that. So you are a senior in 2005. You are the returning 2,440 pound state champion. You're you've got your brother with you, Jacob, three time state champion, 04, 05, 06. And this is your, you know, senior, senior year. This is it. You know, you can go on to college, but as far as wrestling high school, man, this is it. And last year, of course, you guys have Jacob's three state championships are on the channel. Your 04 videos on the channel. So you guys really have a coming out party at the state tournament in 04. Jacob beats Ben Hines by a tech fall from Campbell County. You win your state championship by a pin in a minute. And the state has to take notice that something special is going on in Lawrence County. When you walk into a gym, when you, you know, we were in 05, we were connected as a society, but nothing like we are today. Like we said, social media, I think MySpace may have been in its infancy. I don't think Facebook was around, Twitter, Instagram, all that was around. There were still some wrestling message boards that were kind of popular. But when you walk into a gym, do people know who you are? Like, oh, my God, that's Jerry Merton. That's Jacob Merton. No, we don't want no part <laughs> of them. Uh. You know, I I would have people come talk to me later about it, and mm -hmm. for me, I'm just jealous. You know, I've uh, I've always tried to be kind, respectful, mm -hmm. um, try to be humble, and uh, yeah, when I go to the gym, I'm just in a gym full of competitors, and um, I'm gonna go in there and do the best that I can. I the one thing that I always was confident in when I go on a match is in my mind was I worked harder than anybody else. No matter gotcha. what, I'm going to go out there and I worked harder than anyone else out here. And mm -hmm. that was the one thing that I would try to pride myself on is I'm going to put the time in. I'm going to work hard. I may not be the best, but I'm going to give my best. I, I completely understand. And I know I can say for certain this year, I refereed you and Jacob a bunch of different tournaments, a uh, couple times at uh, Johnson Central, couple times that I think Sheldon Clark had a few meets at different places. I know I got to referee you and, and your brother uh, a bunch that year. So you're, 
your back. I don't want to say to defend it. I would have to imagine it was, I'm going to win. You know, there's no, like we mentioned in other videos, you hear the commentators, the experts, if you will, in like MMA, your boxing, they'll say the champ isn't the champ until they defend their belt. They're not the champion until they defend their title. And it's kind of, we've got different answers from people. Did you feel, and I'll, I'll give you two uh, scenarios here. So kind of, you know, which one most likely represented you? Did you feel like, okay, I'm the champ. I have to, I'm going to make it back to defend my title. To let everybody know that I am the champ. Or is it, I feel like I'm starting at the bottom and I have to work my way there. Because it's two different, to me, it's two different mindsets. Yeah. I To me, I felt like I was walking around with Target on my back. Okay. I, I got you. That's, that's kind of the mindset I had was, all right, I got it last year, but this is a new season. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I every match, I got to take it one match at a time. And, and for me, it was just the outlook of, yep, 2004, I won it, but that's 2004. We're in 2005 now, and I'm at 145 pounds now. Mm -hmm. um, and hey, I gotta go do it. I gotta go do it again. Um, and, and if I could share one other thing here, I had my wisdom teeth pulled um, like right before the season started. And here's a funny story. So the lady's talking to me. She's getting me prepped for the thing, and. Um, we're talking about wrestling and talking about, yeah, I'm going into my senior year and I won state last year. And, you know, now I got to try to do the, do it again. And when I woke up from surgery, I was dreaming that I was in the state finals and she woke me up. And the first thing I said was that win that I win. <laughs> so I, love it, I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wrestling is programmed into the subconscious mind, right? Mm-hmm. I, I listen, man, I get it. Now, I want to, I, I mentioned, you know, these great names, Trent Johnson, Bryce Schaefer, Grant, Jordan, Harrison, Isaac, Joe, Ian, Jared, Trice, Troy, Robbie. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm not. And if you look at, yes, of course, Joe Carr, four-time state champion, Bryce Schaefer, Robbie, Isaac, all these dudes, great careers. They're four-time state champions. It's hard to say that they didn't have a better career, but just, as it comes to a season, as it comes, if you just had to put one match up and say, we have to judge, not tell anybody what they're watching, just who do you think had the best performance of what we have video on? I, just for me, and like I said, guys, you know I love you. Uh, Isaac, been to your house. Jordan, you've come to mine. Joe, we've done it at your gym. Um, Grant, we've done the video at your house. Not trying to make him, but I, just the way I feel about it, I think you're the best 145 pound wrestler to ever come through Kentucky. Just my mm -hmm. opinion. Just my opinion. So let's go over your 05 bracket. The first round, you're wrestling Seth Least from Christian County. You win that by a fall in a minute, 15 seconds. The second round, you're wrestling Daniel Rader. From uh, Valley out of Louisville, you win that by a pin, two minutes, 41 seconds. The quarterfinals, you're wrestling Chad Fife from Franklin County. You win that by a tech fall, 16 to 1, and Chad goes on to get fifth place. In the semifinals, you're wrestling Austin Cooper from Simon Kenton. You win that by 8 to 2 decision. Austin goes on to get third, but don't feel bad for Austin. He goes on in 2006 and wins it at 160 pounds. So really good, really good showing there. Um, Austin's a great, great wrestler. Stories are still, you know, people still talk about him and what he, what he was able to do. But you get back to the, the state finals. You're wrestling somebody you wrestled last year in the quarters, Chris Purcell from St. Xavier. So you, I'm at this state tournament. I remember, you know, I'm not saying plain as day, but I remember because uh, Jacob, he had a tough semifinals. I mean, yeah. everybody in the gym thought this is going to be it because that dude come to wrestle. I mean, he came. <laughs> he his name came. escapes me, but everybody. Robert Smith. 
yeah, that's it. That's it. Rob Smith. And I, the announcer is like, we've got a tight match here on map number three, returning state champion Jacob Merton is tied at, you know, whatever. And I, like I said, I remember watching that and then your match was up. And I remember, of course, watching it. But you you win it, your semifinals. You're back in, you and Jacob both are back in the finals again. What's going, what's going through your head again? Um, you know, I, it was a little bit different feeling. It was kind of like, all right, man, we got back here. All right. Hey, you got to do this again. You know, mm -hmm. it was like, there's, there's no way that you're going to let this happen. You know, you're, you're going to win this. And, um, I think maybe a little more confidence going to that match, but at the same time, there was a level of, um, I don't want to say anxiety, but there was like, man, all right, you got to be smart out there. You know, yeah, you wrestled uh, Chris Purcell a year before and you got the pin, but that was the year before, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new year, whole new match. You know, let's go out there and do what you do. And, um, you know, Jake, um, again, Jake was a couple matches before me. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I'm over there. And when he got the win, I was pumped. I was like, all right, it's my turn. Little brother got it. Now big brother's got to follow. Yep. And to that, well, real quick, uh, Jacob the week before wrestled Brandon Howard from Sean Clark, and I, which we I bring it up to Jake. That that whole match video is on Jake's old five video. But there was about a two second like everybody in the gym was like because <gasps> Brandon <laughs> hit like a like a, a kamikaze roll or whatever. Yeah. And, Jake's back kind of, sort of, was exposed for a few seconds, you know, a split second, and everybody's like, oh, my God. And, of course, Jake was able to go on and get the win, and he wrestles Brandon in the finals and gets like a, you know, minute-something pin. Um, yeah. So it was, you know, like I said, just for a – everybody kind of knew Jake's match was going to be a rematch, but I don't know if, if everybody thought that you would be seeing Purcell again. I, I don't remember that. It was just – had a lot – uh, a lot of wrestling between then and now, but you're backstage, you're drilling, I guess, with Jake. Are the nerves still there? Yeah, yeah, and like I said, a little different nerves. You know, the year before, it was, like, excited just to be there, you know, and uh, was pumped and was like, all right, hey, this is my moment, you know, and then this year was, all right, hey, we did the year before. The eyes are on you. You're, mm -hmm. you're no longer the underdog. Like, you got to defend it. Like I yeah. said, that that target, like, hey, he's coming for you, you know. And I have to ask, when you had your wisdom teeth pulled and you were in the dream, were you wrestling for sale in the finals then, or do you remember? <laughs> you know, I have no idea who I was wrestling, um, but I I know we're getting after it, you know. I I, I completely understand. All right, so we're going to go back here to the dungeon. Let's do it. That's the number one, number two ranked wrestlers going at it. So, tie up with him. Drop I like a little dump there. He's able to stuff it. I feel like that was kind of my way to kind of get in and close that gap a lot of times. Mm -hmm. There it is. That was just pure strength right there. You get in it close like that. Yeah, I always love those shucks. I, I, when I was telling you earlier about, uh, you know, wrestling heavyweight at 130 pounds, um, I learned to use that. I can, I can understand.
If you're on the receiving end of that, you see your life flash before your eyes, trust me. <laughs> yeah, like I said on top, this was my goatee right here. I would crank the one day the one way and then if he's yep. crashing back, come back the other way with it. There it is, man. You get a pin. Two state finals, two pins, a minute, 32 seconds. Your second state championship, and of course we have the uh, medal ceremony. And while we're, while we're getting to this, the reason I said that, in, in my opinion, I think you're the best 145 pound is your level of physicality that we have on video to me is unmatched. I mean, just an absolute animal. I think it. I think it's fair to say that Jake might be a little bit more technical than you on certain things, but as far as just brute strength, physicality, you're you know head and shoulders above a lot of a lot of people. Yeah, I was like getting in close and hand fighting and. Yeah, Jake and I had two complete different styles. Yep. And I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that our styles were so different that we had to learn how to wrestle each other, you know? Mm-hmm. There you are taking your second trip to the top of the podium, get your medal and your bracket, and Chris reaches out a nice show of sportsmanship there. Yeah, he was a good guy. Yep. And that's where... This one ends. Well, maybe a few more seconds. I want to give you all the podium time that you got. And of course, that's where that one ended, the video wise. So, watching that one back, does it play out the same way as well that you remember? A little less nervous this time. <laughs> I, got you. I got you. I can, I understand that. I do. I get it. Yeah. You know, we, we meet with guys and do their video and they'll sit back and they'll watch it and they'll be like, man, I just, I just wasn't that good. I don't know how in the world I won. I, I'm, you know, they're watching herself now they're like, man, I missed a shot here. I should have done this. I should have done that. I was like, you were good enough to win it then. And that's all that matters. Yeah. We can sit yeah. back and Monday morning quarterback, but you were good enough then. And you don't have to wrestle it. You know, when you get 45 or 36 or whatever it is, you just had to do it when you were 18 or whatever your year was yeah. in school, but, um, man, it's been a long time coming to get both your videos on the channel. Let everybody see you because, um, just you and like I said, you and Jake both highly requested and ex especially, um, people didn't realize that Jacob had beat Jordan Burroughs. Yeah. I think that, I think that might be the, uh, the sleeper video of the channel is to see just how he dominates uh, Burroughs, that beast of the East. Oh, like, yeah. That video is on there. But the uh, the legacy of Jacob and Jarius Merton live on, man. They, I mean, it, it really does. And it's glad, or I'm glad that we can finally, you know, have both both people, kind of like Hatfield McCoy's, you can't say one without the other. You really can't say Jarius without Jacob or Jacob without no. Jarius just because – just the way that you guys come in and just absolutely made a tear through the state in your two years and Jacob's three years. So I like to give guys the opportunity before we end the video. Do you have anything, you know, you'd like to say or add or whatever to wrap this one up? Oh, absolutely. Um, first off, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this. This is awesome. Um, like I said, it's been, you know, since probably 2006, maybe since I've seen this. So First of all, that's exciting, getting to see yeah. it. But, you know, I had a lot of people ask, you know, man, what was it like you and Jake wrestling? Who would win if you two wrestled? That was every day. Yeah. Every day. He, I mean, he was my partner. Even in college, we were wrestling partners. And um, I'll tell you right now, I would not have been who I was as a wrestler without him. Um, 
like I said, we started out on my parents' bed in their room, and my and Jake and I'd be going at it. We'd be going at it in the living room floor. We had holes in our walls from wrestling each other. Um, but yeah, it was everything that we did all those years that led up to that right there. And uh, so I, you know, I gotta give it to my brother because um, without him, I would not have gotten where I was or my parents supporting yeah. us and, and taking us to the camps, pushing us to get out there and do the workouts. Um, you know, so I, and, and I got to throw it out there to, to coach Jerry Whalen. Um, he gave me love for the sport again. And, um, you know, we wrestled every day in the room and he made, he made me tougher as a man mentally. That's where I was lacking. Mm-hmm. He made me mentally tougher to get to where I was. Um, and he, he gave me the belief that I needed to be able to get there. Um, I had the talent, but he brought it out mentally. And, uh, you know, we'd be in practice and he'd kind of get throw cheap shots in there just to be like, hey, what if that happened in the match? You know, we'd be doing he, stuff. Not to interrupt you, but he has told me that same story. Like every time that we've talked about it, he would say that he would do that or like you guys would be doing a drill and you'd get a takedown. Nope, we're out of bounds. We're out of bounds. Yep. We're out of bounds. Now what are you going to do? So that's, that's, that's cool that it stuck with you all these years. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, he, he did some fun stuff. He'd be in there. We'd be wrestling. He'd be grinding on our ribs. He'd be trying to yep. take those, pulling our hair, you know? Yep. Oh, it was awesome. We battled. Yep. It was fun. I can, I can believe that. And you mentioned that you went to college, uh, kind of walk us through that journey. Yeah, so I went to Campbellsville University, um, wrestled my freshman year, sophomore year. Uh, freshman year, got injured in the wrestle-off um, against Kyle Norred, uh, won the match, but I was out for probably a month and a half for a knee injury. Mm-hmm. Came back, um, I think I wrestled maybe a couple matches, and I tore the cartilage in my ribs and was out for another month and a half. And then... Um, wrestled a tournament it was a national qualifier got second place there actually uh wrestled uh brad cooper and um you know brad was uh i think a junior i was a freshman and uh man that maturity woo! yeah so uh you know I was, I was yeah man i'll tell you what he's one of the toughest kids i wrestled um he took it to me out there in that match um yeah, I wasn't ready for that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so I, I, I took second there and then um, went to regionals, placed, and went to uh, national tournament and lost in the All-American round. Um, but I just – I didn't have a mat time that freshman year. Just It was just injury after injury. And then yeah. sophomore year, um, again, um, I think I was ranked number seven there for a while. But um, – Injuries just got me. I ended up getting bronchitis coming back after cruise break. And that just hung on all the way through to the national tournament. Like couldn't breathe. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't keep weight. Couldn't eat. Had migraines. Um, literally I had missed like several weeks of practice with migraines and having to do breathing treatments and stuff. And then I blew my shoulder out and mm-hmm. my last, regionals nationals i literally had to wrestle with my arm kind of right here and it just shut everything i hit was off of this left side and um at that level you know i just i couldn't pull it pull it together there and that ended up being my last season of competing um my shoulders never healed up right and uh some of the next couple years i redshirted that next year tried to recover but shoulder didn't heal up so in the last two years, um, just ended up helping out in the wrestling room. Um, I ended up um, turning my wrestling scholarship over and ended up taking a um, ROTC scholarship uh, for the Army. And um, so at that point, I just wanted to get in there and help the guys work with them. And then I went into the Army, commissioned into the Army after college and uh, went in the army for 10 years as a military police officer and then um, got out of the army in 2020 and um, went right back to work for the army as an army civilian. I got you, man. So heck of a, heck of a, um, I guess, post high school uh, 
life, if you will. Uh, now, talking about the Army, we've got several of Kentucky's Army All-Americans on the channel. We have Dominic Black, who wrestled for the All-Army team. He was a two- or three-time world champion. Uh, Dave Ritchie, he won the All Army All American or All Army Wrestling. Um, Grady Peterson, like we've got several dudes on the channel that competed, uh, went into the Army and competed or military, if you will, and competed in uh, the Army level again, you know, national and world events. So it's kind of kind of get check some of those out, man. Maybe you know some of those. Yeah, guys. remember the names. Dominic Black from Henry Clay. He retired as. Um, the commanding officer of the, the entire all army athletic program as a lieutenant wow. colonel, uh, 1987, most outstanding wrestler. So it's kind of cool. You need to check those out when we get off here, but ma'am, I can't thank you enough for being on here and doing this. We've been trying to get up with each other for seems like Seven a year months. now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, finally able to, able to do it and we can complete the, uh, the Lawrence County, state championship a, br a bracket if you will all all five of Lawrence County you know Jacobs three your two are now on the channel and the world can make their own judgment I've I've said my how I feel about it about um, you know the, just the one one match I think I think you're the 145 pound king man I do I think you've got <laughs> it but it would also be remiss if we didn't say that in 2022, you went into the Lawrence County Hall of Fame, you and your brother. Uh, I think that was cool. You and your uh, – both your banners are still hanging up in the gym. They're proudly displayed uh, as, as it should be. You know, it shouldn't be. But the thing – I'll say this and wrap it up is, you know, you walk into that Lawrence County gym, you might see – your name, Jacob's name on the Hall of Fame wall, walk in and or see your banners. Okay, you know, wow. Uh, Jarius Martin, two-time state champion. Jacob Martin, three-time state champion. That's cool. But until you actually put your eyes on what you guys are able to do and how good you guys were and just watch just the way you guys wrestled, you really can't appreciate what you guys did, what you, what you were able to do for – Lawrence County, and just basically build your guy. You created your own legacy. I mean, everybody, like I said, they're still talked about. You know, hey, this this guy wins 135 pounds. Well, he's good, but could he beat Jacob Merton? Probably not. Man, 145 pounds. Now it's 144. He was good, but could he have beat uh, Jarius Merton? So it's kind of kind of cool, kind of cool that you guys were able to come in and make such an impact in the short amount of time you guys were here, but you have anything else you'd like to have before we wrap this one up? No, just, it, Hey, it was fun. And it went quick. Um, I'll tell you what, you know, those, those years of wrestling, I think back, I still have dreams. I'm like, man, how am I going to wait, make weight tomorrow? Yeah. You know? Oh man, I haven't been working out. How the heck am I going to wrestle? Yep. You know? Yep. Um, but yeah, Hey, for any of you out there still wrestling, enjoy it. Have fun. Work hard. You know, but it's the things that you learn from wrestling that's going to take you through the rest of your life. Wrestling that's exactly is life. Right. Yeah, that's exact. That's a. I think that's a perfect way to end. That, that's say that one more time. I love that. Say that one more time. Wrestling is life, and the the lessons that you learn in the mat yeah. room you will carry with you until the day that you pass away, and that's a fact. Absolutely. Yeah. It's. The discipline, the respect, responsibility, mental toughness, physical toughness, you know, you're going to carry that with you in everything you do, whether it's going to college, going to the military, going into the job, having a family, things get tough with your family, with your kids, whatever. Your entire life is wrestling. Mm. Your entire life, you're going to have to battle through things when you feel like giving up. Um, and this is going to carry you through. Yep. And like I said, I think it's a perfect way to wrap this one up. So we're going to stop this one right here. So we've got Jacob. Go back and watch Jacob's Beast of the East, his 04, 05, 06. If you haven't watched Jerry's 04, watch it as well, man. Get the, get the entire Merton experience. So, man, <laughs> that's all that I have. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the mats.